The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Let's get started today. Now, if you haven't been here before, please get a tablet and pen. Now, if you've been here before, get out your Millionaire's Founders Kit. My name is Ray. Last name is Reynolds. Amazing. I want you to listen. I need you to learn. Put it here. The knowledge I want to give you today is just a good overview with a lot of good rules and tools. And, of course, this is always live. As we play this game, we want to win. Now, no pictures, no recording. Main thing is mindset, habit forming. Unfortunately, most of you, sorry to say, you learn how to do things wrong, all right, based on personal business credit. You probably listen to some friends and family members. And me, simple. I wrote the rules and tools about personal business credit years ago. I built a million dollars of credit all the time. It's fun. I brought in my first million dollars when I was 14 and a half, not possible. 2.6 billion at 26. So I like goodies. You like goodies yet? You see, goodies are fun. But the bottom line is, I find most people are lazy, and half of them are basically just going to sit back and think it's going to happen as a magic wand. The bottom line is, the bottom line is up to you. You can't be lazy, and you have to follow through. So we're going to talk about some goodies today, and some of the goodies I obtained too. Now we got some things. Me, I was born in a taxi on the way to Gardena Hospital. Bottom line is simple. She didn't want me. She threw me in a trash can. All right, I got to be Mrs. Hope, the she-devil from hell. So the journey in the beginning, ah, what am I going to do, scream? I got a choice. I have to get out of hell, and that's my ultimate goal. Your choice today is your journey begins with me. We can play the game when we get to win. I like to win. I don't like to lose. So the bottom line is draw that diagram in front of you. See, that diagram represents basically banks or grocery stores or cities. Let's think. Bank of America has bankrupt 6,000 locations. Wells Fargo Chase U.S. Bank. They're shutting down another 1,000 locations because they don't need them anymore. So here's their parent company owning a branch, which is a subsidiary, and they're going to bankrupt that piece. Then they take all the money and the assets and they get a tax credit. You see, the consumer, we the people, we screw up because we bring the pain home with lack of knowledge. The lack of knowledge is the stupidity of man or woman. We're not stupid. Most people just follow stupid. Sam's Club, 1,500 locations so far. Geico Cities. So the ultimate goal for you to begin is to stop bringing the pain home. Flat out. Become a certified CFO. The ultimate goal, become a corporate millionaire. Change your mindset. So I want you to think about something today. I want you to look behind that curtain. I don't think you ever did it before. I think you can basically listen to friends and family. How you start your personal credit and do this or that. Or you hire an attorney to do a corporation and silly things too. So what I did as a little boy being dropped off at the pier, read on the beach pier every morning at 6.30. Mrs. Hope would drop down, drop me off at the pier at 6.30 from the age of three to nine and a half years old. She'd roll down her window of her car. She'd say, if you're not here at five o'clock, I'm going to leave you there to die. She was a she-devil from hell. So I had to learn what's going on. So I ran over to the light on the pier. I stayed warm. But you know what happens? I saw Marina Del Rey, Torrance Rocks, Palos Verdes. I saw money. I taught myself how to read at two and a half years old. All right, they found out I have an IQ of 203 with total recall. I write with both hands and talk at the same time. All right, they said I was retarded in sixth grade. You know what? I just thought they were stupid. And the goal is very simple. So we're going to talk about your personal credit right now. Get out your cards and at least write down the procedure. I need a sticky behind every card. Write down the limit of the card. Maintain 25%. Never pass 29%. What is this going to do? Give you the line of defense. When I was training Ken Yarborough, security chief at TRW years ago, how to play and write the rules and tools, we have to create a line of defense. Now, listen carefully. If you did that for those cards and these two cards here, they don't fluctuate your credit at all. Do you realize you can maintain a 750 the rest of your life and not screw up and bring the pain home? Well, what happens most of the time? You jacked it up, got stuck, couldn't get any more, backed yourself in a corner, and you hopped your house too. So let's look at TRW that started it all. Thomas Raymond Woolridge. They made bicycle parts information business and bought out by Aspirin in 96. So let's understand. 
rules and tools. When I created the first one of these diagrams, it was good, fair, or hell no. Remember the rules for these. Remember, these are the two can maintain a 750 score rest of your life. In case you have to jack it up to a million dollars as long as you maintain a payment. So ask yourself a question today, a couple of them too. Do you want to enhance your income or would you like to replace it? Which one do you want? Certainly the one you want. You're going to have to get your hands dirty. Simple. When I talk about getting your hands dirty, I want you to master rules and tools. Every time you look at TikTok, Google, and YouTube, you hear all this blah, blah, blah. I'll give you a blah, blah, blah too, but I'm going to get stuck with you in the beginning, middle, and end. I'm going to make sure you get to where you want to go. Millions and millions if you want that too. So get your hands dirty. Please write down what about me. Write it down. What about me? See, the what about me should be focused on you. What can I do, Ray Reynolds, the godfather of credit, who's built millions and billions, help you and what you can do? I can hold your hand, get you past go. Now, understand, I want to make you a certified CFO. That means a corporation and entities. Every entity is going to protect you, and that's the ultimate goal. So here's Chapter 18. Chapter 18 is very simple. Corporation, let's see, right there. Let me circle it for you. He's a legal person. Now, when I heard this, I was seven and a half years old. Mrs. Hope, rich and famous people, had a poker game on Wednesday night. I listened in the corner, wrote down my little notes. They told me I was weird, probably true. Now, I was seven and a half years old. You know what I did next? I went down to the Torrance Police Department the next day, brought my little bicycle. The library next door, I went in and go, man, what does this mean? She walked away. She was rude. What did I do? She came back five minutes later. Here's a mock of his. Here's a mock. I read the back. I realized she wasn't very nice. Didn't want to help me. I was trying to find a blueprint for my life. I was trying to get out of hell. I was always been five to ten years, you know, mature more than most people anyway. So now the next thing I didn't pay attention to. You see where it says may sue or be sued? I didn't basically pay attention to that until I got named in a lawsuit. All right, when I was 12 and a half years old, helping hand industries. So I sent away my money order. It was $10. Secretary of State of California. $10, and then the corporation came back. Helping hand. Wow. It worked. Went to the library for two years. I got over $100,000 of credit cards in the mail. I now have over $53 million of credit usage reference in history. Real goodies. Kind of fun stuff. And then basically... All right, I got named in the movie Dave. Kind of weird. So at 12 and a half, when I started Orange County Blind Center, I got in trouble. I used the word Braille, and I got in trouble. I got named in a lawsuit. You see, the Braille institution owns the name Braille. So guess what? I had to learn about those things, too. Trade names, trademarks, and copyrights. So the bottom line is to never bring the pain home. Now, understand, I want you to think about your corporation today. Because bottom line is very simple. If they sue the corp, they sue you. You're the officer. You're on the bank account. You're a duck and a sheep. And the bottom line is up to you too. So understand today, I want you to think about a division under the corporation as division process. The ultimate goal. As we protect ourselves, building what? Putting our ducks in a row, building a million dollars of credit. Never bring the pain home. So a warning about me is very simple. I'm honest and I'm blunt. I tell her like it is, and if you follow stupid, you did stupid. You're not stupid, but you did stupid. I'm the godfather of credit. I tell people what to do, and I treat them like they're two years old. They have to learn to play the right way and never bring the pain home. So let's think. Me, I'm always buying a list. I'm always things in procedure. Everything has to be perfect. So what do I do? I get my checklist out. Do you have yours? See, we have to look at the goal list. That's an index of a buck. What steps does it take to reach every goal? The activity sheet. Then we look at daily and weekly. And then the project list, which is a pain in the ass act. So understand. I have a foolproof program. You can't even screw up as long as you follow through. Now, my clients are rich and famous people. All right. Angels, Clippers, Dodgers, Lakers, all this good stuff. Even some couple presidents of the United States of America. Gold's Gym, Superman. All right. College professor. And homeless people, I get to erase 360. From there, Giovanni, 1,006,000, worked for Pixar. Little Karen delivered pizza. 
I got her to buy properties in real estate in Canada, Long Beach, California, under division process, a million two in nine months. And then I help people come out of prison too. Here's free Ray Ricky Nicky Ross, gold and platinum cards, up to a million bucks. Isn't that fun? Thomas was fun, but he was in prison for 26 years. For six months, every Saturday we did coaching. You know what I got him? His first brand new dump truck. And he do millions a year. See, the problem with you, sorry to say, it's true. You didn't learn how it works. So let's think about some common sense for a minute or two. SS5 form you filled out at 14 years old to get a social security number. If not, mommy did it for you when you were born in 71 and on beyond. Because Nixon took the gold standard out. So let's understand. SS5 equals SSN and 1040 tax return. You get one. Well, that kind of sucks. No wonder people stay poor. It's so fun. We the people. You get a number signed to you. So let's compare SS5 to SS4. This means level one, level two, level three. We get to play. How about right there in front of you? Legal name of entity or individual person. So you have the ability to put your name on an SS4. But here's the problem. Some of you might be crooks. You know what that means? You don't pay your tax returns. You don't file them. And what do you do? You screw up. If you're a crook, you don't file your tax returns. Just go to prison like Wesley Snipes did. Wesley didn't listen to me. He listens to idiot attorneys and CPAs in Beverly Hills, California. Three years in prison, $5 million fine. All right, $5 million. What? <laughs> kind of sucks. But you know if you will learn and you pay, pay attention today, when you wrote down irs.gov, and you wrote down 1244, the IRS will allow you and the corporation to file one tax return and it will not pay tax at all. Isn't that the ultimate goal? We don't want to really pay too much tax, right? Or at least more than we have to. SS5, SS4. So here's Richard. He listened to me too. Richard, one survivor, he almost died twice on the show running around naked. He got a million dollar check. Oh, goody. I said, why don't you reference three times five and turn it to 15 million? Well, he didn't want to do that because you're going to keep 375 the way he was going to do it. So he pissed it away. And he went to prison for three and a half years, 10 years probation, violated that too. You see, the lack of knowledge is the stupidity of man or woman. People aren't stupid. None of you are stupid. The reality is you might have filed stupid. Unfortunately, half the pre people in this world are freaking lazy. So we look at the United States of America Incorporated, 50 corps, 50 states, cities, and states. And they created Chapter 9 bankruptcy under the Federal Protection Act. So we, the people, Constitution, and we have the Supreme Court says a corporation is a legal person. We can actually stop bringing the pain home. Wouldn't that be fun? Now, I need you to write down the vision of me. Write it down. So when you write down the vision of me, it'll be you. Got it? Let's understand what I do. Here's line one again. A person's name or a corporation, division, or subsidiary can go on line one. I can build you a million dollars of credit, but I need you to listen and learn and follow through and go to class and not follow you what? Let's do an example here. Here's a Lamborghini worth a million dollars. One of the part of the collection. Here's the keys. Now, when I obtain this one, the first payment, all right, all payments are 6800 a month. It's expensive. But the reality is if I bought it under me and I couldn't pay the bill, they take it away. Then they report it to my credit bureau and I have shitty credit. Then they report it to the IRS as a 1099C. So now I got double shitty credit. Well, that sucks. So what am I going to do? I bought it as a division of a corporation. Remember I showed you SSN versus SS4? I guarantee it are SS4. That way, basically what happens? See, I got my storage units, my apartment complexes, my current real estate, and my 22,000 pay phones, my laundry mask, my dry cleaning, and all the things I wrote books on that too. And now if one of these go bad, what do I get to do? Three step disconnect, isolate, incorporate. So if I can't pay that car. I'm going to put it over here, keep all my other pieces of my cash flow. And then what I'm going to do, try to save with six months. If I can't save it under the Federal Protection Act, I'm going to bankrupt the hell out of it and throw the sucker away. Your banks are shutting down locations again, grocery stores and cities too. So understand when you sign a lease of a building and you get a piece of property, you don't know which one's going to slip and fall and sue you, screw you up. So what do we do? The S is for it was designed for one reason, to allow you to receive money that's not taxable till you're profitable. Now, the next thing under the Fair Lending Act, we're going to look at how we can take one card to 12 more cards to 99 more. 
See, that way you can finance the American dream. You don't bring the pain home. So here's an actual client. Her name is Mary. Mary's Ivy League education. So is her husband, too. VP of Apple, making a quarter million a year. Oh, goody for Mary. Mary hires an attorney for 10000 retainer. He looks at the lease of the restaurant she wants to start. She gives 5000 to the CPA to look at the books, too. Then all of a sudden, she jacks up her credit, $98,000. Her score goes, meow, calls out, what did I do? Their response being stupid is, meow, meow, meow. I'm sorry, most attorneys and CPAs don't know dilly squat when it comes to being an entrepreneur. They screw up. Now, here's Mary's problem. Mary got a restaurant, and it failed. See, Mary called here all upset because she filed bankruptcy on her restaurant. There's filed bankruptcy on her. She brought the pain home, and her husband divorced her three weeks later. I didn't sign up for that, he said. See, if Mary and all of you would do what I tell you to do, the restaurant should have been a division. Now we can throw the piece away that's bad, keep the go the good pieces, become a certified CFO. You can stop bringing the pain home. So let's think, if you have a corporation today, why don't you look online and find your corporation with your name and your, and your officer's list too? And if you use your home address, please change that because you add yourself to the national mailing list. That's kind of silly and dumb. And all corporations have to compile with the CTA Act as of today. You're going to tell everybody who you are anyway. So the bottom line is very simple. you got to put your ducks in a row. Currently, when they sue that corp, they sue you. That kind of sucks. Do you know a division protects you? But that's up to you, too. You create your line of defense, and you'll bring the pain home. Now, here's a $100 million building I obtained, a million-dollar Lamborghini, a five million mansion as well, and a million-dollar race boat. I obtained them. Why haven't you? Can you turn these up just a little bit today? So you don't get goodies like this until you hit $5 million, the ultimate goal. Now, as we play, I want to add you to my credit system. And let me rebuild you my way. From there, I want you to write down credit, loan, and money. See, I bet you you all had some money before, and you kind of spent it and pissed it away. Then you're broke the next day. If you do what I tell you to do, and we basically have money coming in, money going out in the business, you're going to get up to $1.5 million of corporate credit, line of credit at the bank, and you can have a franchise under a division. An apartment complex creates your line of defense. What does this do for you? It's very simple. You're going to create financial freedom. All right, I create this as auto income. I put in my book 45 years ago, 10,000 to 50,000 a month, if not more. So let's understand how to play. Why don't we take $50,000 off of a credit card and loan it to five people for 10,000 each? Homestead Block or UCC1 Chatter Mortgage. Do you know for every 50,000 loan out under a corporation, you're creating yourself $2,400 a month, positive cash flow? You could actually design your own income if you wanted to. Now, in my book called Buckets of Money, you'll find my matrix of $4.6 million that I created for me, $190,000 a month. Now, I've been teaching and preaching online or in person for 45 years helping people like you. So, again, flippity dippity doos. I had 19 houses at 17 and a half, going to auctions and all kinds of fun stuff. Now, what happened? I found out that the brokers and the agents are liars and buyers are liars, too. The real estate and all of the construction companies, contracting, all right, and all of a sudden the subcontractor they sign, stand out at sat Home Depot. See, the problem we had, I feel they already screwed me over. Now I'm getting 50000 per, that's not fun. So at 21, I decided to change the tone. I set up basically to become the bank. Listen, if you sold a car in your life, did you know when you sold the car, you could have been the bank right then. They could have paid you and you paid the lender you have in the first place. But you blew your opportunity. And with a house, you can just sum it a mortgage, sum it of asset. So if we tore apart an apartment complex and we dissect these pieces, we could actually become an assignment of mortgage. We could become the bank. All right. From there, in my real estate system, my financial system, too, the assignment of an asset. We could actually win. Now, I want you to think about something today. All right. You have 14 states right now that have properties under $100,000 that are brand new properties. All right. So let's understand. We could do Section 8, a real estate office will manage them for us. What is our goal? Auto income. Here's one brand new $75,000. Do you know the down payment is $5,000? Why don't we charge it to a corporate credit card? Why don't we get three of these? What are you trying to create? Residual income. 
So, all right, manage and understand, I want to make you a money-making machine if you allow me to. If you want to sell widgets, computers or something on Amazon and eBay, go for it. I can help you set up OPM money done in Bradstreet. And then you can sell on Amazon and eBay. But the ultimate goal, once again, these are goodies you obtain when you hit five million. God's gift, the mansions and the harbor. Properties that I have in all five islands. From there, you know, the boats. I always put Ray Reynolds University on them because it's fun. Even the Duffies and the big buildings and the Lamborghinis too. You see, my thing is I'm just like real. I just want to be, I want you to understand. Everybody has the ability to do what I did. And if you allow me, I'll coach you to that process and do most of the work for you too. But I understand. See, I got no BS to give you. Every time I hear a, an idiot say, white man can't jump, he's an idiot. Why? I hold the record for the highest and fastest kick on planet Earth. I guess white men do jump, just stupid people say we don't. Kicked out the lights, all right? No matter where you come from, you can accomplish your goal. So please don't hear no. No means say thank you. Walk away. They say no because they don't know how. That's the bottom line. So if you want the $100,000 and the million dollars too, it's simple. You have a thousand steps to millionaire. It's in the Millionaire's Founders Kit. I sold it at the Bonaventure for 32 years every Wednesday night, 7 p.m., 5,000 a set. So here's what's called a millionaire building call. So that I blueprint you. I look at past, present, and future. We look at family. We look at corporations in about 30 divisions, irrevocable trust, car, should be a division, not you. The house, all right, all right, what did you do? Escrow, close home, said trust. Should be bought through the trust in the first place. Next thing, we look at residual income, auto income. From there, cash flow free per time. So let's understand. Remember that blueprint I said in the beginning? The banks and the grocery stores? I think you ought to basically understand. All right, they file bankruptcy on locations and pieces, kind of like a division could do. And you could actually not bring the pain home. You decided to follow ducks and sheep. We want you to change that right away. Stop bringing the pain home. Become a certified CFO. And let's reprogram your domain or status. Now, I started my first blueprint when I was basically nine and a half at the Torrance Library. I call my blueprint, see it, believe it, go get it. Simple. Now, I think most of you are treading water or playing it safe. Here's five things you need to write down. You ready to write down? You got your tablet and pen? First of all, you need a 750 score. A real one, not care, credit, first premier. You need a corporation with the divisions, about 30 of them. Next thing, you want to have cash credit up to a million dollars. And on top of that, you want checkbook money for a million dollars too, and supply and vendor money. This is a must have. Hopefully, you wrote it down if you want to get to a million to billion. From there, if you don't have a corporation, I'll hand you one for free. I've been given free corporations over 45 years. I found out when they're not, I was nine and a half, they're free. But again, you'll pay your filing fee, of course. From there, you can stop bringing the pain home, put your ducks in a row. I can repackage every one of you if you want me to, and we get to play. Now, I've been known as rich and corporate for rich and famous people. A couple presidents in the United States of America, too. So what happens? They listen better than most of you. What did you do? Most of you have a kitchen table meeting. That means you say, honey, we're going to start a business with our friends and family. Then you jack them up, you drop the score, you get stuck, you can't get any more. You back yourself in a court and hawk your house. I call that silly and dumb. You never had to do that in the first place. See, your goal should be never bring the pain home in the first place. Your goal is simple. Now, let's write down today's date and let's project 90 working days, May 3rd, 2024. You're going to fall down a thousand times. You're going to win 10. Me holding you all makes you don't fall down as much. Winning the game of business 45 years ago, very simple, page six, paragraph three, free up your time, cash flow free up your time. So when everything's going right and you're worth billions and billions of dollars, you take out one of your yachts in the backyard with a group of people that's sick and one of them didn't tell you they were sick. The next day you end up in a coma. That was me 15 years ago. So what happens? My wife tells the office he's in a coma, he's probably going to die. Ron's over there in the U-Haul truck stealing my goodies. Kind of sucks. He's stealing my books and CDs. Tom's selling my websites and my phone numbers. So again, what do you get to do? If you want to copy the Mainers Founders Kit, you call the office and they'll sell it to you $499. If 
you got it through me doing a live broadcast, it's $99, 12 books and CDs. It is a Zell, Zell, Zell. So what do we get to do is very simple. So do yourself a favor, take a picture of this. This is how you send money. Ray Reynolds recipient, rayerasecredit.com. Always put RW in your Zell. That means Ray's rubbing R. Simple. Starting a business, running a business is not easy to do. So what did I do? Every day I'm up at 225. Ever since I was a little boy. The first thing I say, thank you, Jesus, for another day. Then I go look in the mirror. See, I have to put myself in check. I didn't get a mommy and a daddy in the family. All I got is to live in hell as a kid. What happens with you, you probably tell your friends and family an idea you have. I'll bet you every time you're trying to help them, they encourage you, they interrupt you. And then they're going to tell you how to do your own idea. And they have a then diddly squat. Don't let people cloud your direction. July 4, 2009. I already took out one of the yachts in the backyard and ended up being a coma. Hospital takes a picture when I died. Didn't that suck? I get to hear the tax attorney trick my wife to sign a POA. The nurse asked my wife if I was a donor. All of a sudden, Jesus gave me a choice to stay in peace or go back. I came back. The bottom line is, guess I understand. See, my feeling sorry for myself is three seconds or less. You get three minutes. I moved 24 times by the time I'm 11 and a half years old. I've been shot twice, nine, six times. Kind of sucks. But I am truly God's example for you today. So I got a book coming out called Jesus Not a Drive Through. Being a Christian's a way of life, no moment in time. Got another one called Bite Your Tongue, Love Longer. See, men have to learn to shut up. They can't take back what they say to their kids or their wives. All right, I even put another chapter here for my wife and my daughters. Bite Your Tongue, Love Longer. So fight the monster within. From there, bullshit doesn't pay the bills, and that's just the truth. You're fighting through the pain. See, I like to get you past go today. I'll show you some real Lamborghinis, Duffies, and mansions, and white men do jump. Stupid people say we don't. How about you race boats in the backyard, helicopters, u docks, yachts, and yacht, Ferraris? I'll show you some real goodies to go get. So let's understand it's called race rules. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blueprint, see it, leave it, go get it. Is that okay if I can help me clone myself into you a little bit? See, credit repair, sorry to say, is a fraud. Can you imagine how many stupid people pay $100 a month, if not more, to a credit repair company? They say, you can move everything. That's bullshit. I mean, come on. The Federal Trade Commission says credit repair is a fraud. The you know, Credit Services Organization Act. See, the only thing you can do is rebuild your credit with the truth. You can download Section 611 on Google today. And if you have an open collection account, remember one thing. You can't rip off your creditor and be a crook. You got to man up and woman up, negotiate. TRW started it all. Thomas Raymond Warridge made bicycle parts information business and a spearing in 96 bottom out. When I drew the first one of these, it was good, fair, hell no. All cards 25, 29% rule. These two don't have to be. That will teach you and you'll have a 750 score the rest of your life. So if we negotiate any open collection account, we put all cards at 25, 29% but the two, and then from there we do a wrapper rescore. That's called the KISS method, by the way, and your score goes up, up, and away. So I like goodies. Let's give you 25 steps today. So Intuit bought Credit Karma December 3rd, 2020. Credit Karma was indicted three times. So they kind of lied just a little bit. So let's understand today. Next thing is LifeLock. Please be careful. They've been indicted six times. Their last indictment's $100 million. Just be careful, please. From here, obtain your credit reports, analyze. I want to analyze your credit right away. I want to tell you from me to you exactly what you need to do to maintain that 750 score, the rules and tools as we analyze you. We do an analyzation for every client. From there at 1.30 Pacific Standard Time on a Saturday, I call case numbers so you get to hear from me. So here's the problem. You didn't pay attention to the SS5 form if you did it at 14 or mommy did it when you were born at 71 and on. So it says name to be shown on card, full name of birth other than above, other names you use. So here's how it works. SS5 equals SSN 1040 tax return. You have a social security card. If you read it, you'll realize it says do not laminate, do not carry with you, do not use for ID purposes. Property is social administration, not you. So the SSN is for the 1040 tax return. 
years ago when you got that first job you had bottom line is very simple you say where's my money the company said excuse me the IRS gets her cut you get the leftover see that's what makes us ducks and sheep you didn't pay attention to the rules and tools 1244 irs.gov learn to master the rules and tools so we have this ss5 what do we compare it to the ss4 line one says legal name of entity individual person so what do we get to do you bring the pain home because you're lacking knowledge okay half the people in this world are freaking lazy you're not lazy so thank you for joining but listen today your name could have been on line one you can master the rules and tools and where it says banking and credit purposes per entity you could actually rebuild your life to five million dollars this year corporation to raise rules can only do four things but for tax no taxes due to you profitable corporation credit write it all off fleet car all right price for a car hotel free buffet see the division is your line of defense they're cheap multiple functions by wholesale price multiple credit reports and then we separate liability for real estate See, a division, as you wrote these down today, because you can't record or take a picture, a division gives you the line of defense. If you allow me in my credit system to set up your divisions for you, I'll add history, tax ID, and bill credit reports. That's how you multiply credit into millions and billions. I will guarantee what I say I can do, as long as you're part of the program, then you follow through, go to class, and don't fall on your what? Violation is simple. Don't jack up cards. Do not apply for credit during the program. If you crash your rapid rescore, there's a fee. We got to close your case. Please don't screw up. Any collection account negotiate. IRS problem, they have a form for that too. So anybody can rebuild their lives if they follow the rules and tools. So let's understand. Here's a 750 waiting for you. All right, what do we get to do? We're going to analyze your credit, do a rapid rescore. It's going to push your score up, which makes basically the dashboards create green lights. All right, possibles. Usually, if you do what I told you, you're doing about three days. From here, if you want to get in the credit system, what we're going to do is do a rapid refresh. You'll go to class on Saturday. I have a classes live on Saturday with me. Our focus will be a 750 together, and I'm going to charge you $999. But then I'm going to give you a thousand card back to you to reimburse you. During a broadcast, I discount this for $4.99 half price. Then the card becomes $500. With the rules and tools I gave you today, we can make sure you guarantee the 750 the rest of your life too. Simple. Now, if you don't have a corporation, I'll hand you one for free. If you have one, I'll build the one you got too. Rebuild the credit, rapid score, articles, all says tax ID. Set up in level one every Wednesday and Saturday with me, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So understand, $9.99. What's going to happen? I'm going to give you $5,000 cash credit back. Five times your investment, $24.99, $25,000 of credit. So as we do this correctly, analyze, simple, history, and then we start popping credit right away. So if you want that old opportunity today, it's very simple. You take a picture. It's a Zell, Zell, Zell. That way it doesn't charge you a fee. Or you can call the office at 800 254 9506 they will charge you five percent per credit card you use today now here's another problem i see when i say i want to rebuild you i need to reprogram what you do for instance i'm a voter you probably are too they sell that voting list 412 times a year all right now you're on the national mailing list cable bill corporation why don't you call 888-567-8688 opt out for five years or a lifetime Get off the national mailing list, slow down your robocalls and junk mail. Phone number's right in front of you. So if we play this game the correctly, what do we get to do? So let's plan the problem. I believe you didn't plan your friend and family to rip you off, but they did. You spent thousands of crap that didn't work. If we have the discipline of safety credit that sticky line of defense today, what are we going to do? We're going to create a way we never bring the pain home. All dashboards do exactly what I designed years ago. Zero to 29 is green, 30 is yellow, 50 is red. So if we do what I ask you to do today in that discipline, step five, what's going to happen to you? You'll maintain your score for the rest of your life. Remember, 29, 25% rule, 
these two we can max out a million dollars. A million dollars. As long as you maintain a payment. And you'll maintain a 750 forever. Simple. You lose your job, have an emergency, what do you do next? It's simple. Everybody does the same silly thing. They run out of time. They run out of money. They can't wait to go jack up their credit cards and bring the pain home. I call that silly and dumb, by the way. So you have the ability to play. Kind of like today. Let's pretend you needed $5,000 now, now, now. Go ask your friends, your family, your bank. They're not going to tell you no. This is a $5,000 card in my hand. If I max it out today, the payment's $50 a month. All right, it's like they say you waste one forty a week. That's six hundred dollars a month. If I take fifty thousand dollars off of a corporate credit card, all right, I can go buy two pizza pizza restaurants with a drive-through using some common sense even during a pandemic. You see, your problem is you. Your lack of knowledge. You bring the pain home. White men do jump. Nixon took the gold standard out. I want you to write down and raise rules now, and I want you to write down I'm willing to sacrifice a division. Not the corp in my family. Because that's what you should be doing, having your cake and eat it too. Raise rules. Step number seven. Become a certified CFO and never bring the pain home. The ultimate goal. So let's understand. Here I'm dead in a coma. Once you Google the address, tell you find I'm telling you the truth. From there, I've been in two comas in my life. First, I was crippled at five and a half. Jesus said, get up. I got up. Last one, I got to die and come back and help you. So the devil is trying to knock us down and hold us back. God's the laser, God's the Niles. So the goal for me is to repackage your life my way. Kind of like Humpty Dumpty. Checkbook money. Do you understand that a corporation being two years old or divisions or both can go after checkbook money? A corporation's a legal person that may sue or be sued, and the lack of knowledge is what makes people do stupid things. Bottom line is like this guy here. I lost my job. He's not homeless. He lost his friggin' job. Get off your butt, drive an Uber, drive a Lyft, have a damn garage sale. Go to the church for food for your kids. Knock off your crap. Come on. I died in a coma. I sold my wedding ring, my Rolex, my necklace, my bracelet. I built a million dollars of credit in six weeks. Corporations can build as fast as you want it to. As long as you do what you're told and follow through. So a division is your line of defense. Multiple functions. And that's the ultimate goal. So a division, what am I willing to sacrifice again? Division, not the corp of my family. So if you allow me to get you the tax ID, this allows us to do several things to set up a credit reports. You start building cash credit for the corporation. And on top of that, line you up for checkbook money. Divisions give you the ability to multiply credit. And that's the goal. It's called basically on buckets of money book. I demonstrated my first matrix, 190,000 a month. Simple. So if you have a corp today, please double check your address you use. Put your ducks in a row because right now when they sue that corp, they sue you and that kind of sucks. So what do we create? A line of defense. So daisy chain of credit. I invented that as well. So what do we have to do? One card. We get to ask for 99 more cards. Then you can get checkbook money. You can actually, within this year, create $2.5 million of corporate credit, the American dream. From there, you have 89 ways to use the division. Divisions like a corporate profit or nonprofit, nine each at least, and then subdivisions. And then you have three divisions for you and five classes of divisions too. Each division you set up, I will add 2,000 of history. I will set it all up for you. You'll basically sign it and you'll get it filed right away. and You'll do what we tell you to do. And what happens is they're usually $4.99 each, three for $14.97. Today, you can get three for $999. It is a Zell, Zell, Zell. And you can always call the office at 800-254-9506. See, I like corporations and goodies, too. We get to play. I got to ride with Neil Diamond a couple of times on the love ride, too. Goodies and goodies and goodies. So understand, up to a million dollars of cash credit cards. Five million of checkbook money. What do we look at? We rebuild you. Then we go after the green spark. Unlimited hundred thousand. The two sisters for thirty thousand each. That's one sixty times nine. Then we go after the blue, which is B of A times nine. Then Wells Fargo, and then from there Inc times nine, and then Wells basically American Express. So if we build up to five million dollars, we should be focusing on our checkbook money. The banks, as long as you have a two-year corporate divisions, 
they will give you unsecured up to 250000 The banks that I like the most are these five here. One's a credit union, too. That's up to $5.4 million of checkbook money. We get to play and win the game. Isn't that the ultimate goal, is winning the game? So I got specialty classes on Saturday. It's the second class I do on Saturday morning at 8.30 in the morning. From there, you have grant money. You realize they're giving a billion dollars of grant money, federal. Then you have your states giving it to and the cities. So if you want a nonprofit corp, grant money up to 100000 you're going to show you how to do that as well. Go after it. An income opportunity, helping other people's tax ID, adding 100000 on history and a phone call with me. And you get the nonprofit workshop to show you how to get the exemption, normally fourteen ninety nine. Today, take a picture. If you did it before the end of the day, all right, it'll be $699 to you. It is basically very simple. All right, it is going to be zell, zell, zell. As we play the game, what are we looking to do? If we build corporate credit, that's borrowed money, it's not taxable, that allows us to buy our lifetime income in real estate and franchises too. That's having your cake and eat it to raise rules. Become a certified CFO, never bring the pain home. The ultimate goal. So if I gave you a check for a million dollars, how would they give you a million bucks? What would you do with it? Everybody always turns, oh, I'm going to the house, I'm going to buy the car. Well, I think that's kind of wrong, to be honest with you. Or you got to focus in on, hey, how do I take that reference three times five and turn it to 15 million? Borrow money is not taxable. So I want you to think differently. Think about putting it into the corporation. And basically, because your only problem is you put it in you, you only get to keep 375. Corporation building credit can pay what? The bills first, then pay tax on the leftover. The ultimate goal. So if you won the lottery today, what would you do? You took a cash value. Now what? Well, I would tell you to put in the division of you uh, in the corporate bank account and the tax ID, creating some debt, offsetting the taxes, borrow money. It's not taxable and turn this into millions and billions. So you got 11 cities that filed bankruptcy so far, states and cities and what? Chapter 9 bankruptcy. They plan the problem like I want you to do. You can actually do the same thing as long as you have no intent to do fraud. Do yourself a favor today. Google bankruptcy. Find out who can file bankruptcy, SSN and family or SS4. This way you don't bring the pain home the next time. Ultimate goal. So what do we do now? Add you to the credit system. From there, I can build you up to a million dollars of credit. As long as you go to class and not fall on your want, and you follow through. Beat your doubt, run your race. The ultimate goal. So as we play this, getting past go. So God's gift in the mansions in the harbor, race boats, helicopters, Lamborghinis, and buildings too. In the near future, I'm going to explain that I want your driver's license changed to a P.O. box and mail-in address for privacy purposes. Now, I'd like to look at your car today. The one you allow them to sweat you for five hours. All right, lose up to what? Nine inquiries and five, ten thousand dollars too? That's not how you buy a car, by the way. A car should be fleet price tax ID division. It's not a fact about writing it off. That's silly stuff. Because you can always write off a percentage, if not all of it. The bottom line is who's a registered owner? You can write and buy a house today and you both sign it. Two people, when you lose it, you get a 1099C. Car should be a division. If you don't listen carefully, you're going to get double shitty credit. 1099C from the IRS. So in a bumpity bump, what happens if it's a division as a registered owner? They get daily squat. I want you to protect yourself. The ability to protect yourself and go past go. If you're going to buy a bunch of real estate, make sure the divisions. You can't figure out who's going to slip and fall. I don't have a crystal ball. Do you? Your house payment offsets what? Your income offsets the taxes. So we look at basically the Amazon. We're 10, 10, 10 billion at that first time. They didn't pay tax. They're worth a couple of trillion. Now they don't pay tax at all. Why would they pay tax? There's no loophole. They're doing what they're allowed to do. We watched him buy Twitter within two, uh, two days, borrowing $44 billion and screwing up in two weeks. Now he's totally dumb. and totally dumb. But again, X marks the spot. But he's got a spaceship. So the other two guys. So the ultimate goal is you can win the battle and join the club if you want to. Step 15. So run your life through a corporation or in conjunction. Pay tax, buy a Lamborghini. Simple. So understand, 
your paycheck is taxable income, right? So the leftover, you're paying the car payment, gas registration, insurance. I think I'd be yelling no right now and drive a company car like I do. That would make more sense, step 17. So let's go to irs.gov and get a hold of an SS4 form. Find out I'm telling you the truth where it says banking and credit purposes. You never had to be a duck and a sheep in the first place. You chose to follow that. You see, here's mama. Ever since 1971, when Nixon took the gold standard out, she's got to sign the SS5 form for the baby. Again, there's rules and tools. So it's like when you buy a house, escrow close home said trust. You have a house not in a trust. When they sue you, they take it away. When you're dead, it's stuck in a probate. Your family got deadly squat. You hire a contractor, oh goody, that hires a subcontractor that stands outside Home Depot. When they slip and fall, they want to sue you, take everything you got. My way, they're going to get deadly squat. Why don't you look at the irrevocable trust today, too? From there, basically, that's step 19. The ability to play the game and stop bringing the pain home. If you don't pay taxes or file a tax return, you're just a crook. Go to prison. Wesley Snipes did for three years, $5 million fine. Simple. You see, you can't play peekaboo with the IRS making a mess. You have no choice to but play and be honest. If you want to save up to 70%, you'd be an OPM. You don't pay a bill up to 90 days. You leverage money to $15 million when it comes out of escrow. And then you leverage money, you create your line of defense, and basically you borrow money that's not taxable. That's step 21 called blackjack, the ultimate goal. So as we play, understand the Ray Rose University. Uh, 2009, my building was 22,000 square feet. Came out of a coma. Everything I had was stolen. What am I going to do? Go home and boohoo like you? No, thank you. I took out my blueprint, see it, believe it, go get it. I built a million dollars of credit in six weeks. I don't stay down. There's no reason none of you should do. You should have three divisions of you and five closet divisions as a minimum, too. But again, it's up to you. Thousand steps to millionaire. Millionaire's founder's kit. See, you don't have your time. Your time has you. I like boring businesses. If you take and I build you credit, once you invest 40000 in a business that basically is ran by third party, that would probably get you three to 10000 a month auto income. 100000 to 45000 250 up to 75000 So again, boring businesses. So I like real estate franchise storage units. We have a program for three, six, and 12 months. You go to the expos, it's like a deer in the headlights. I'd like you to own it, not run it. Is that okay? We do it my way for a while, like a storage unit from there. So, all right, dry cleaning, laundromat, Wendy's, Jack in a Box, gas station. So if you start with your goal list, your daily, your weekly, and your project list, we can get you to that point. You can get a million dollars a year if you want to. Residual income should be up to 100000 a month. Three months, six months, and a 12-month program. Your goal this year should be $5 million. Three months kind of lines you up. Six months, you should have your first unit. If you follow through, then 12 months, you'd have multiple units too. And all you have to do is call the office. All right, and talk to one of the specialists today, 800-254-9506, and ask them about coaching. It's up to you. Corporations, a legal person, may sue or be sued. Division's my line of defense. I'm willing to sacrifice that, not my corporate, and my family. I can multiply my credit, and I can do like a bucket of money and do 190000 a month. Divisions are simple. Adding 2000 of history, corporate umbrella, build it up, up, and away. They're normally 499 three for 1497 If not, you can get three for 999 today. The ultimate goal, if it's Zell, 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 or you call the office at 800 254-9506. What are you willing to lose? See, I didn't get a family until I got a wife and six kids and 10 grandkids. I'm not willing to lose my family. I'm not willing to back myself in a corner and screw it up like most people do. Corporation, they sue, them, they sue you. A division is your line of defense. Winning the game. Basically, winners get checkmate. So step 23 today, the ability to play. I like Lamborghinis and big buildings, don't you? Reach in the dream, think to be the impossible, raise rules, building millionaires out of corps and divisions, training them to be a certified CFO. That's the way it works. So today, never have joint credit system the way. 
You buy a house, it's escrow closed, some said trust. Corporations are free in all 50 states. You pay a filing fee. Your divisions for real estate, franchise, current business, and line of defense raise rules. I always want to give you between one to 10 times your money back in a program. That way, why? All right, there's no more excuses. It makes sense to me. I'm the only one on the planet that does that anyway. Step 24. So today, if you want your credit rebuild, and that's all you want from me, we analyze right away. We do a wrapper rescore. All right, you go to class. All right, from there, we focus 750. We work together. The class is what we charge is 999. Thousand record back to you. During the broadcast, we discount it to 499. $500 card back to you, and you can maintain the 750 of the rules and tools I gave you today. Starter package for a corporation. Simple. Articles also is taxed in. If you have one, I'll build what you got. If not, I'll hand it to you for free. You'll pay your filing fee. You go to level one and set up every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 999. I hand you 5,000 of credit back. 2499, 25,000 of credit. Analyze, add history. And then from there, start popping credit right away. Ultimate goal. So as we play this, it's a Zell, Zell, Zell. Or you call the office at 800-254-9506. Remember, if you chose a card, they will charge you 5%. The bank charges us. So when you refer people, that's good. We'll build more credit. If you want to get 10% for your referral, please make sure they say your name when they sign up. If not, they blew it for you. That's why I give you my personal email address, too. As we play, remember the banks, the grocery stores and Sam's Club, and Geico and Cities. You see, everybody can repackage themselves. Bottom line, we can stop bringing the pain home, be a certified CFO, and reprogram our brain to maintain our status. The ultimate goal is look behind the curtain, dissect all the pieces of rules and tools. We stay safe, we stay strong, we do our best. Jesus does the rest, amen to that too. So at the end of the day, we all have the ability to see it, believe it, go get it. The ability to play the game and to win every time. And that's the ultimate goal as we do this every step of the way. All right. Okay. This is a question at the end. And this is a overview, so we don't really do a lot of Q&A in this. But again, I'll have Santos reach out to you, John. All right, as we do this today. So let's do our best. Let's let God do the rest. Amen to that too. And never forget at the end of the day, God loves us all.